again, let me know what you think I should do in the comments. Should I restore it and keep it? Because it's not going to cost me a thing. Or should I restore it and sell it? Anyway, we got the battery. 2023 and season four. I think this will even go to 2024. I don't know. All I can tell you is that we've been sailing the boat and enjoying ourselves. Minimal amount of boat work this year, but that's okay. I want to enjoy my family. I want to enjoy the boat. And I also want to enjoy some boat drinks. Nothing better than being sun-kissed on the uh, water. I hope that you guys have really enjoyed these videos. And if there's something you want to see, I implore you to reach out and ask me. And I'm more than happy to record it for you. Boat work is my favorite. So if you have some need for a helping hand, by all means, just reach out. I'm here. But until then... I hope you guys uh, hit that like and subscribe button, and cheers to you in the water. Well, all right. What's going on, people? Anyway, uh, if you saw my short, you know I picked up a skiff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I figured we'd just do a video, having a quick gander at her, maybe going over some of the projects we're going to be doing with it. But um, I, got, I got a very, very good deal. I know I keep saying that. I don't want to say what I paid for it. But I feel like it was just given to me. And um, I know it's worth quite a bit. As I've already had people offer me money on Facebook posts that I put up. Um, like two, three times what I've already paid for it. So pretty stoked. Let's have a look at this thing. So it, <clears throat> before we look at it, it's a 2001 or two. Uh, Carolina Skiff Sea Chaser 18 uh, and I'm not able to find much on the internet um, about the 18 I can find the 186 so I do actually believe that's what it is and I have to go back and look at the paperwork but um, yeah this is it so let's have a look right, so first things first the trailer is a 2004 load right um, it's in pretty decent shape there was definitely some strange welding going on with it but whatever so starting from the bow we're going to have to work with some lights. Um, the, I guess the first owner put in probably a, a you know, a little uh, kicker motor so he could fish with it. I'm going to leave that all in here. Um, I'm not going to mess around with that, but I have to play with the wires. So this looks to be aftermarket. I am not thrilled at it. It's pitted. It's, uh, it's just not done well. And then we have this. I don't know why somebody would this has to be homemade so we're gonna replace all the stanchion posts these rod holders are ghetto as can be and are coming off we'll put plastic ones in place or pvc as far as the gel coat goes there are some splits in the gel coat now i'll probably fix all this just because i really want to learn how to do it other than that the hull is in great shape it's been bottom painted so we're going to give it a coat of the rust oleum uh, non-ablative Coming back, again, the rubber rail's in great shape. Non-skid's decent. It's filthy. But uh, there's our five-year warranty from uh, Carolina Skiffs. Some more gel coat cracking back there. The transom is solid. I have put a moisture meter on here. No issues. We uh, The motor is a 70-horsepower two-stroke Yamaha. It's a 2004. He played with it. He played with it and uh, i'm gonna have to now play with it he removed the oil injection tell you the truth i'm a big fan of that um, i'm not a big fan of oil injection it's just a layer of uh, an area where we could have a fault um, what i would probably do if i was a big motor boater is as soon as my warranty was up i would remove that i, I just don't i don't trust it uh, there's too many things that can go wrong uh, it does have a 30 gallon fuel tank that he was not using he was using a five gallon. I'm going to go ahead and remove the 30, take it out, clean it, and that'll be um, a premix tank. So they've installed the ladder, which is good. Um, happy about that. The wiring for I don't I don't know what you would even call this. This is <laughs> I don't know, but this is uh, obviously getting replaced. He's got some holders on it. Obviously, it's it's filthy. I don't know what this stuff is that he's dropped here, but um, did give me an anchor. We're going to have to do a little bit of glass work here. Obviously, this is where the tank is. Um, you can see the screws have actually already been removed, so we're going to have to do that. I don't know what they had in the back, but there are some holes on here that we're going to have to address. Uh, I'm going to take off this bimini holder. I can't wait to clean it. That's my. That's going to be the best, actually. So, uh, actually, for this um, railing 
here. What I'm thinking of doing is actually taking the whole thing off and sending it out to get powder coated in black. I think it would look pretty classy. Um, and you know, we gotta, I'm gonna replace all this stuff. So let's hop on board and have a gander at it on there. All right, so I, I don't have the seat um, on it, which goes right here, but I do have the seat. It's in my shed. So just looking at it, this is a live well. Um, you know, the, all of these work, but this is filthy. So we're gonna clean this all out and get that working again, put a pump back in there so the live well works. Not gonna open that one right now. Um, coming up here, all the gauges work, steering's good. I do need to replace this panel. Uh, I'm gonna probably put in, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six switch. I don't need that. What do we need? We need instruments, we need a horn. Um, we don't need a blower, so we need instruments, horn, I want to put some cockpit lights in here and nav lights. So I only need a four switch. I'll probably put a five in so we have one extra. The controls are working. Um, yesterday we played with all that. That's all good to go. Kill switch. Underneath here, it is a wiring mess. Now, again, I, I'm not too concerned about it. I guess he must have had a second battery. This is just, I don't know. This is going to be a fun little thing to go through. So we'll redo all the wiring and reroute everything, which is nice because there's some good holes here for it and I'm guessing yeah this is for the other battery that he had down here but we'll we're gonna be ripping all that out and redoing it make it nice but again all the latches work which is awesome um, again access to the fuel tank right here it did come with a Garmin um, I was not able to get that powered on I'm assuming it was from the battery that was down here fish finder um, we got all the storage for rods and he gave me an anchor and then we come up here we have another live well there I forget what this one is this is where he has his oil injection it's not a live well it's just a storage locker but nice either way it's got some drains in it um, and that's basically it you know, your little front seat was done I could probably redo that a little better but first things first we got to get her cleaned up um, I'm also going to be adding t-tops I imagine it did have t-tops at one point in time this is actually the most I've looked at it. No, it never did, because this side doesn't have any holes. But I'm giving it a T-top, which I think gives it a really rad look. And again, uh, compression on this motor was 115 in every cylinder, so it's well within spec. And we'll get the, uh, the actual um, fuel tank hooked up. I just want to remove it and clean it first. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this little project. A, I've wanted to learn to do some gel coat work, and this allots me the opportunity to do that. Um, this side doesn't have any of that splitting, like I said. I want to get more into some of the stainless steel stuff, so I may actually just get new, um, I don't even know what this is called. Sorry guys, I would say lifeline, but it's not. I want to maybe redo that, or I'm going to powder coat it in black, get rid of all that, and then I want to start working with that um, that fox floor, that foam floor. So I think, and uh, don't for my one buddy who watches this, who owns the company that does it, don't get mad at me. But I think I'm going to buy this stuff off Amazon and do it myself. So the whole front will get done, um, the runners right here, the back, and I think I'm going to do the whole back here, which I think will give it a great, great look. Um, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think in the comments. Should I do? that fox foam floor i found a really nice one on amazon which is blue and black diamond and then i found a really nice um just straight line which might be easier to work with on here because i'm not going to get custom cut um gray and black so between those two i'm very interested in using that stuff now my kids i promised my wife i was going to sell this boat and i really want to start flipping boats i really want to um i, I really want to start making some some money doing this and um my kids want me to keep it and i gotta be honest i kind of want to i think this would be a really fun runabout um this locker is where we got our battery which i'm actually going to remove now we can do two which i'll probably put in here two batteries but i do want to remove this right now um just to get it charged up so i'll be pulling that off in a second i don't know what oh, that's the steering cable so that's what i'm doing on here right now we got our scuppers. Yeah, I mean, too, for what I paid for this, it's not bad. Oh, look at that. This is not a 186. All right, this is a five person. 
675 pounds, uh, 1100 pounds personal motor gear things. This is a Sea Chaser 17, 170. 170. So cool. It's actually even cheaper to keep at the marina if I decide to do a dry sale, which I have a feeling I'm going to do. This is just too cool. Um, you know, having the sailboat is awesome as far as space and needs, but to be able to rip around, um, you know, to our spot where we go hang out when our friends are all over there and it's like, all right, now I got to go start the diesel. Not a big deal, but... You know, pull my boat that does six miles an hour all the way over there versus, you know, it's Sunday, all my friends are chilling, and I can just be like, hold on, let me just go attach this to the truck or leave it at the marina on the trailer, dump it in with the Jeep, and I could be over to our spot, Croton, in, you know, like six minutes. But I could also do that with the dinghy. So I don't know. I know that I could sell this boat for a lot of money, so I'm having a hard time here. Um, but either way, I'm more excited about the projects, even more so than the money itself. But I don't know. Let me know what you... Let me... Tell me what you guys think about this thing. Should I keep it? Should I sell it? Should I flip it and get another one? I know it's really rough right now, and it's rough, but just imagine what this thing's gonna look like with a fresh bottom job, a real gas tank, nice seats, nice floor, clean, T-top right above us right here. Just ripping her. This is a, it's a cool little boat, guys. It's a cool little boat. Well, all right. So that's it. That's the tour. Um, again, let me know what you think I should do in the comments. Should I restore it and keep it? Because it's not going to cost me a thing. Or should I restore it and sell it? Anyway, we got the battery out. I'm going to go put this on a tender. Um, and we'll get started on this real soon. Like, like real soon. Uh, and when I work on it, just so you know, I'll probably, I'll probably wash it back here. But I really want to get it more on a level surface. Um... And when I bottom paint it, it'll be done in the garage. Not the garage. In the uh, blah, 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 in the driveway. Actually, what I'm going to do to bottom paint it is I'm going to get a floor jack underneath it. And I'm going to raise it. And then I'm going to put 2 by 4s So I can sit on the 2 by 4s And then I'll raise the back and do the same. That way I can leave the trailer underneath it um, without really making a mess for myself. Because I'll be doing all this on my own. So, um, again, I'm just going to give it a quick scuff. Uh, with a sander and then I'm going to go ahead and use the rust-oleum which I swear by plus she's gonna be kept on a trailer and I think the rust-oleum will really hold up well because it's not ablative so that scraping on the bunks and whatnot will be perfect but yeah I don't know let me know uh, anyway uh, we'll be back at the sailing boats real soon we we're down there with Sadie uh, this weekend a lot of things coming at that and Artemis has got a bunch of stuff coming at you too but either way Hope you guys are having a great holiday season. And uh, again, please, in the comments, tell me. I don't know what to do. I need your help. I need your help with this one. Talk to you guys later, man. Cheers.